What's up, guys? All right, today we are going to cover if you are a completely free-to-play player, which officers are the best investments for you, all right? There is a lot of really good options here, all right? But we are going to talk about, okay, the three best officers you can focus on and should focus on if you are a completely free to play player. And when I mean completely free to play, I mean you don't invest a dollar into the game, all right? There are a couple of officers, okay, that are really easily attainable, completely free, and they are some of the best overall officers in the game even later game and even in more even more developed servers and for more developed players. These these officers we're going to talk about with the exception of one are extremely versatile, meaning that they can be utilized really well on garrisoned units, meaning artillery units, anti-tank gun units, things like that. Or you can even pair them with field units, meaning like light tanks, medium tanks, super heavies, things like that. And they're still going to be a huge benefit to you in very, very, they're very, very versatile and they can help you in many different ways. So Here's who we're going to talk about first, all right? The first officer we are going to discuss, if you are a completely free-to-play player, is Percy, all right? Percy is a overall fantastic officer, again, whether she, whether you're going to put her on a garrison unit, whether you're going to put her on a field unit, all right? Whatever you want to do with her, she's going to be a huge asset to you. And here is how you get Percy statues. And this is the only way to get Percy statues because there is a little bit of confusion behind Percy and how to get her statues, all right? How you attain Percy statues is you have to get a officer to level 60. It does not matter which officer you get to level 60, and I know that confuses some people. Some people think that you have to get specifically Percy to level 60, but you don't, all right? You can get any officer you want to level 60, but the only way to get enough of the Percy-specific statues to max her out is you have to get one officer, doesn't matter which one, all the way to level 60. Now, here's what I would suggest. If you were a completely free-to-play player, I would highly encourage you to focus on getting Percy to level 60 first. Here is why, all right? Not only is she a very versatile officer, again, meaning you can slap her on an artillery unit, an anti-tank gun unit, a field fighting unit, doesn't matter. She's going to be a huge benefit to you. But Remember, in one of our other videos, right, we've talked about officer pairings, okay, and leader, lead officers and things like that. Because your lead officer, you want to always be your highest level officer, so that way you get the firepower and the durability buffs, right? You can get up to 30% additional firepower and up to 30% additional durability buffs if your officer, your lead officer, is all the way to level 60. So, I would highly encourage you to do... Percy to focus on leveling Percy up first to level 60 because you're going to knock out two birds with one stone, right? So not only are you leveling Percy up to level 60 and getting the additional firepower and durability buff gains when you put her as a lead officer, you are at the same time passively building up her statues to unlock all four of her officer skills, right? And ultimately unlocking her main skill here, all right? So that would be what I would suggest, and I highly encourage you guys to do that. For me personally, I invest a little bit of money into the game, so my, my, the officer I focused on getting to level 61st was Guardian of Truth, and the reason I did that was the same reason that I've told you guys to focus on getting Percy first, all the way up to level 60, because he is my lead tank officer, and still is, probably always will be, all right? So I wanted him to have the additional firepower and durability buffs, right? But you can't get Guardian of Truth without paying for him. So this is why I'm saying if you are a completely free-to-play player, I would highly encourage you to focus on getting Percy to level 60 first so that way you can get the firepower, durability buffs, and at the same time you're passively getting Percy statues, all right? Now, just to make one thing completely clear, for some of you guys that don't know this yet, you cannot contribute your universal statues to Percy. Some people think you can, you cannot. The only way to get them is through leveling up an officer, all right? That is the only way. So the second officer we're going to talk about here, and again, is a super versatile officer that can benefit you on any unit, whether it's a garrisoned artillery or an anti-tank unit, whether it's in the field on a medium or light, whatever it is, this officer is going to help you in many, many different ways. And again, it's completely free to attain his statues. 
<clears throat> and that is going to be War Machine, all right? Now, War Machine's got a lot of awesome, awesome skills, and as you can see, I don't have him maxed yet, and here's why. Myself and a lot of other players I've had conversations with, all right, didn't realize, and I'm talking just specifically about us players in earlier servers that have been in the game for a while, we did not realize early on how useful War Machine would be, right? We didn't see the value he actually has. He was a very underrated officer. Now that we're later game and we're starting to get to the point where we're maxing most of our other officers, and a lot of players now do have him maxed, he's a huge benefit, and I highly encourage you to focus on him from day one. The day you download the game is the day you need to start focusing on, on building up War Machine statues, and here's how you attain his statues, all right? We're going to come over here right to the Alliance Store, all right? Every week at reset, all right, the entire Alliance Store and all the items in the Alliance Store reset, okay? You can attain, as you can see, I've already bought them, but you can attain 10 War Machine statues from both of these packs right here, completely free. All you need is to build up enough Alliance coins, okay, the contribution coins, to be able to purchase these. You can earn those in-game just from farming, things like that, all right, and from assisting people with research, helping in builds. There's a ton of different ways to build up your contribution coins. However, you can get his statues completely free. You can get 20 per week from the Alliance Store, all right? I encourage you to make sure from day one you are getting War Machine statues. For me personally, you can contribute, unlike Percy, you can contribute Universal Statues to War Machine, but to me personally, and this is why I have not done this, it does not make sense for me to take my Universal Statues that I can be contributing to other officers, okay, and giving them to an officer that I can get his specific statues from the Alliance Store. It takes just a little bit, a little bit of extra time, but it is well worth it because not only are you working on maxing out War Machine, you can also at the same time be working on a third officer, right? You can literally work on maxing Percy, War Machine, and a third officer all at the same time. And uh, you can have really, in a pretty relatively speaking short amount of time, have three very, very key officers completely maxed on skills, right? So that would be my suggestion is to not contribute any of your universal statues unless you just happen to have all the other officers in the game max except for War Machine, all right? I would not contribute any universal statues to War Machine. I would specifically buy his statues from the Alliance Store and do that every week at reset until he is completely maxed. The third officer we are going to talk about is Antonina. You can, you can get Antonina skills maxed by contributing your universal statues to her, all right? And this is why I pick Antina. You can make a case and you can make a conversation, an argument, whatever you want to say. You, there's a ton of really great officers in the game, okay? There is. It's just it is what it is. The reason I'm saying Antonina needs to be your focus for all of your universal statues because universal statues are very, very, very hard to build up and attain, all right? Especially if you are a completely free-to-play player. So with this being said, you need to pick one officer to focus all of the universal statues you're able to build up on one officer, and that one officer needs to be Antonina, and here's why. Antonina is an artillery-specific officer, however, she has the ability to give you, once all four of her skills are maxed, she has the ability to give you an extra grid of firing range and of coverage, okay? So here's what I mean. If you have an artillery unit in your base and your base is being attacked, you the most grids your artillery unit can shoot out and cover is up to four grids. Anything within four grids of your base, your artillery unit can cover. However, if the person or if the people that are attacking your base have maxed Antonina on their artillery units, that means they can shoot up to five grids, meaning, for super simple terms, your artillery can't hit them. If the max that your artillery can shoot is four and theirs is five, you can't cover them because they've got an extra grid of buffer space between your base and their artillery units, and it makes it almost completely impossible to defend against them, right? So, if you will focus on getting all of her skills maxed with your universal statues you're able to build up, now you give yourself a huge advantage there because you're able to defend your base and to cover the max amount of grids possible, all right? So, make sure that you focus all of your universal statues, especially if you are an earlier player or a player that is completely free to play, okay, and you don't have a lot of officers maxed, make sure 
that Antonina is the first officer you focus on getting all of her skills maxed with your universal statues, okay? I hope this video helped. I know there's some, a little bit of confusion behind the Percy conversation, and there's a lot of people who have a lot of different approaches in which offers, officers to focus on maxing with your universal statues first. Make sure you max Antonina. Antonina, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, it will help you in more ways than one. And once Antonina's done, that opens up a whole playbook of different avenues you can go, and you can really get creative at that point. But without Antonina, you're going to put yourself in a really tough position, especially when it comes to base defense. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one.